Outside Abuja, we've gotten a lot of improvements, uh, also in terms of distribution. We are monitoring every dispatches from the depots and also from Suleja to the various uh, centers. Uh, today alone, as of uh, noon, we've gotten over 110 trucks that have been dispatched to Abuja and Enverons. And you could see that there are a lot of trucks that have been siding uh, the several stations as you went out. Uh, we have, uh, so as such, I would say that the war room is uh, quite active. And of course, the design that we've got, we've gotten to monitor every truck that is moving uh, is also active. We have uh, identified, for example, as part of the work of the war room of some of the marketers that have diverted products that were meant uh, to come for Abuja. Uh, about 24 of them that have been diverted uh, elsewhere in the southeast, and those marketers were going to sanction them, definitely. So, and uh, this is a continuous exercise. We'll ensure that during this crisis, uh, the all every truck is monitored, right from the time that it is loaded up to the time that it is discharged. You could see that we, we are winning the war, and uh, the queues have significantly subsided uh, in Abuja, in Lagos. They've almost become non-existent, and of course, we are we are pushing into the other cities as well as to the hinterland. I I, I, I promise by weekend, most of the uh, operations that we've, we've been noticing will disappear. Keeping our focus on the false custody conundrum and uh, how it is affecting just about everybody, every sector. And uh, to do that with us is Mr. Obafemi Olaware. He is indeed the Executive Secretary of Major Oil Market Association of Nigeria. I uh, want to thank you so much indeed for coming on the show because a lot of people are really concerned. First of all, let's begin with what the papers say. Vanguard says that um, you owe us 27 billion naira. Liars. How do you respond to that? I've gone through the paper and uh, obviously it's not referring to major marketers. I think it was referring to DAPMA. Uh, but that is, that is not even the point. Talking about who is owing who. Yes, we owe. It's a trade something. We, 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 we are always... Uh, buying and uh, from NMPC and selling. So some of the times we owe, some of the times we are in credit. But the truth is this. Government is owing us. And we have agreed with government that when you are going to pay us, deduct whatever we are owing you. How much does the government owe mo moment? Uh, collectively, in the, the industry is owed close to two billion dollars, so you can't compare it to twenty-seven billion naira. But what we are saying is that whoever is owing, as you are paying us, deduct. That is what we have been saying, and that is what we agreed with government since uh, June, July, and we feel that that should have uh, ended the whole thing. Pay us, deduct. It's not only. Uh, NMPC we are owing. We are owing other people, other government agencies. Okay, but we are saying that let's start from the biggest and that is the full subsidy, the interest and the foreign exchange as you are about to pay us and they have done it. I've seen the template where there's a column for what government is owing and there are rules where they are saying uh, you are owing um, uh, agency A, this, you are owing this, and this is the bottom line. And we are saying, we are fine with that. We've done several reconciliations, supervised by uh, 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 the uh, uh, chief of staff and the federal minister of finance. And we agree. So nobody is saying we are not owing. We are saying government is owing us more, and they should pay us, and deduct whatever we are owing them. 
So, uh, as of now, uh, Mikanti Baru, you just heard in that uh, report. Yeah. Some of your members have been found wanting, holding this petrol and product, yeah. and some of them will be prosecuted, as a matter of fact. Okay. So that means that uh, NNPC is laying credence to its uh, claims of the, that amount of uh, supplies, uh, saying that it doesn't have concerns with supplies, but rather that the product, when it gets to your hand, it doesn't get to the filling stations. Why is that situation still persisting? I wish uh, we could meet face to face. And I will tell him when the problem started and when we started warning. Remember the last time I was here? I said that if you leave NMPC alone to be the sole importer of product, you will get to a point where the, the slightest shock will create a problem. But I saw this not problem. a problem in supply. That's no. the problem. No. The, the truth must be told. They are just getting the supply in some appreciable quantity. The supply dropped in October, middle of October, up until uh, some few two, three weeks ago. That's the truth. Supply into the system dropped. And somebody must own up that it is true. I'm not here to pass any blame. We are here to see how we will solve the problem. After that, we can sit at table and look at what went wrong and how to prevent it from happening. But we all saw it coming. We saw it coming and we said it. That your supply, your suppliers are actually, that's a technical word, they are defaulting. They are not supplying enough. And you are the only supplier. If we were there, remember there was a time it was, we were doing 60%, they were doing 40%. Now it turned, and they were doing 60, and we were doing 40, which was still okay. Their own 60, if it doesn't come, our own 40 is there to, to bring a cushion. But we are not doing it. Why we are not doing it? We don't have the money. They are owing us. Not NMPC, 